Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the Maclaurin series for for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we are going to make use of this. So to do this, we are going to make use of we are going to make use of this. So so uh, so cos of x is this series here, or or you or we can use this one here. Uh, and then when when you have uh, when you have one take away the series. So when you have one take away the series. So when you have one take away the series. So this is our this is our cos cos of x here. This this series. So here so now we are just looking at the numerator. So we've got one one take away our our series. So when you have one take away our series, the two uh, the two ones will cancel each other out, and then you've got a minus here. So so this block here. Will then become a positive. Will then become a positive, and then uh, and then this uh, this block here, because it's a negative here. This block here will become a negative. This block here will become a negative, and the next term will be a positive, and so on. So um, so 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 cos so cos of x is this whole series here, but when you have one take away a series, what's actually happening is that this one here, lo looking at cos of x. When you have one take away cos of x, uh, the one would disappear, the one would disappear, and then and then this thing here will become a positive, so all the signs switch over. This will become a negative, this will become positive, and so on. So so we will then so so the numerator here will then become this nice and neat series here. Okay, and, and that turns out to be this because um, if if you if you look what if you look at what's happening, uh, cos of x looks like this. When you have when you have um, when you have one take away cos of x, what's happening is that the the ones will get cancelled out. So uh, so so well you see when when any, if you look at this um, if you look at this summation thing here, if when when n equals zero, if you put zero into here, uh, two times zero will be zero x. To the power of zero will be one. Blah blah blah. This whole thing here, when n equals zero, this whole thing here will generate this one. But but when when you look at the numerator, when you have one take away this, the the one would disappear. The one would disappear. So rather than starting at n equals zero, we should start at n equals one. That's why that's why when you when you simplify this, uh, you you would start at one as opposed to zero. And then uh, and then remember the signs, all the signs switch over. So, so we are when when you just look at one when you just look at the numerator, all the signs switch over. So, so the the one disappears. The sign this negative will become a positive. This positive becomes a negative. You want to switch all the signs over. So, uh, it, you see, it is this bit here that that determines the plus minus plus minus and so on. But because we want to switch switch it um, and get it out of phase by one. Then, then, then looking at the n here, we should we should use n plus one. So this uh, this this is why um, this is why it becomes n plus one here, as opposed to to just to the power of n. Well, anyway, this think about it. Badly explained, but think about it. This whole series here can be written as this. So this is just a numerator. So this so this is just the, the, the numerator. Now we need to divide everything by by x. But if if you look at this cost thing, um, if you divide everything by x, hang on. So so we've got we got rid of this. It's a plus and then negative and so on. When you when you divide by x, when you divide it by x, um, this thing here gets minus by one. When you divide by x, this thing gets minus by one and so on. The point is that when you're here, uh, hang on. When 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 you're when you are here. If you do, if you divide everything by x, if you divide everything by x, um, if you divide everything by x, it gets multiplied to the bottom. So if you divide everything by x, this will cancel out with this. So that uh, well, basically, if you divide everything by x, then uh, then this thing here, the power here, gets minus by one because this becomes a three. This becomes when you divide by x, this becomes a five. So the point is, when when you divide by x, this thing here gets minus by one. So, so one minus cos of x gives you this series. So now, when you divide by x, then 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 this power this power here gets minus by one. This power here gets minus by one. So remember, we start at one. 
Okay, so so this whole thing here will then become this, and the series is valid for all values of x.